Okay, is this a journey? Um, is this a journey of pain? The question is, is this a journey of pain? Um, and do some have pain and some not have pain? And what's the value of pain? Um, I could frame it, I'll, I'll frame it my view of this. I mean, my my teacher who I, who is my teacher, uh, David Hawkins. Um, so whether you use the, the terminology of A Course in Miracles or whether you use the terminology of um, the ancient terminology of karma, um, you could say that um, I'm incarnated here to transcend my belief systems or to tr transcend my karma. It doesn't really matter what, what you want to say it. Since all karmas or beliefs which I subscribe to or identify with or I hold within my consciousness will create limited experiencing. Will create suffer. As but I, I agree with Buddha, to be uh, to um, to choose to be in duality, to choose separation, um, means that I I am choosing suffering. I'm choosing limitation. The, I, I don't want to be in the infinite love. I want to experience a limited existence of separation, and um, to try and be happy. I mean, how long can you be happy if you're limited? Obviously, there's going to be um, a limit to to the type of experiencing, which is going to be dualistic. It's going to have ups and downs and dramas and pain and agony and then moments of bliss and then agony again. So it's going to be, I agree with Buddha, it's going to continue to be that old age suffering death and then reincarnation or um, that this is purgatory until I transcend the beliefs or the karma I'm just going to keep having to face them until they're released. So it's, uh, that I have a choice. I can carry on for all eternity subscribing to these beliefs of karma, or I can undo the karma or ca or let go of the beliefs and surrender to a more infinite, you know, or an infinite, um, uh, a more infinite experience. So, so why is it some, well, you know, I mean, you could say that the experiencing of duality uh, and the level of severity of the experiencing of duality or separation or the, of being a body mind entity is uh, uh, directly proportional to the level and the density of beliefs or karmas held within the individual consciousness. So for some, it might feel like there's horrific pains, illnesses, horrific relationships, um, all kinds of things, financial relationship issues that are uh, are brought in and have to be faced until they're transcended, uh, surrendered, released, forgiven, um, uh, you know, and then and cease to to appear. For some, as you go, you know, for each individual, it just depends what is being held in mind for each individual. For some, may be holding huge uh, karmas and beliefs around um, illness. For some relationships, for some money, it just it just varies. Um, whether it's physical pain, emotional pain, or so, some other form of pain, relationship pain, the, you know, the, it's all part of the limited experiencing. So yes, it will seem like if you want to compare yourself to another, that someone has less to do, or some may have more to do. But uh, I don't. It's not really useful comparing. It's like, what have you got, and do you want to keep holding on to it, or do you want to let it go? And what what spiritual pathway you're going to use to let it go, whether it's the course or self inquiry or twelve steps, uh, you know, either you're going to hold on and suffer you know, suffer the beliefs or the karma. I I really like. Uh, I mean, you can use the course terminology. Everything's a belief that you can transcend and let go of, or pray for a miracle around, or you can use the karmic view, which I also like, which is like if I've um, you know if I've treated others badly. I get it, you know. I get other people come along and treat me in the way I've treated others in the past, and I get a chance to forgive that, and to release myself and the other from the illusion, until there's nothing to forgive. And so everything is perfectly aligned in the universe and orchestrated in divine synchronicity for all lessons to to arrive, uh, for me to either choose again or you know pray for forgiveness to release myself and another in the illusion. From what seems to be appearing so until one chooses to be absolutely free then one is still holding on to stuff whether you call it belief systems or karma so um 
so the question yeah so um is it a joint well my i actually agree with buddha i don't think this is a holiday camp being in duality and separation having limiting limiting beliefs and karma is fun but others others can disagree with me i'd much rather be in the infinite all the time for all eternity than to experience the ups and downs of limitation but you know for those who enjoy limitation then that's fine that's the choice um the value of pain well I, well that's that's a beautiful question i mean i think why on earth does anyone bother doing spiritual work in this world i mean why why aren't i continuing to enjoy my donuts and and being dishonest in the world uh you know and all my addictions and vices uh well you know i put i wouldn't do spiritual work unless i found out that that caused a lot of pain um and then the pain became unbearable kidney failure near death suicidal addictions and then there was the turn to divinity infinite god and and then i'm willing to do the work to let go of the beliefs and the karma so that for me is the value of pain you know is it it brings me to to choose do i want a life of pain uh because you know if i hold belief systems you know i mean my experience is they eventually they stop working and then i'm faced with do i want to keep operating by these limiting ideas or do i want to transcend them uh, my of course you know uh you know i i choose i choose the infinite to the best of my ability um so yeah that's the so i think that is the value of pain is that uh it it creates the capacity to choose because often um i think humanity won't choose unless there's sufficient pain to do the spiritual work necessary to undo beliefs and karmas which are ingrained okay so i'll stop